right, Algebra 1, Lesson 39. This is on the trichotomy axiom, negated inequalities, and advanced ratio problems. All that to say is um, it's not that hard, even though it sounds like it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the trichotomy axiom. Okay, all that is stating is if I had two numbers, the first number and the second number, and let's just say I'm going to say the first number is A and the second number is B. Okay, just to kind of differentiate between, okay? They are basically saying the second number is less than the first number, so B is less than A. That states that. The second number is the same as the first number, B equals A. And then the second number is greater, is greater than the first number. This is called the trichotomy axiom. It just states what it is, and so I just want to teach that. Okay. Next is the negated inequalities. Inequalities. Now, if I were to tell you, this is kind of those graphs where you have greater than or less than, and we're graphing them on the line. If I told you that x is greater than 10, then what would be the opposite of that? X is less than 10, but it's also equal to, because... This one did not have an equal sign. So the opposite of not having an equal sign is having an equal sign. So if x is greater than 10, than 10 then the opposite of that is x is less than 10, but it's also equal to 10 because it's still the, this is an opposite because this didn't have an equal, and this is the opposite because it was less than. You see that? Or greater. Yeah, this is less than, that's greater than. Okay, now they are going to actually write it like this. x does not or is not greater than 10. So then what is x? x is less than 10, but it is also equal to, equal to 10. See how we did that? So you have to do the opposite of this sign and the opposite of what's not here, and we have to put here. So you're finding the opposite of this and the opposite of this. Got it? Feel like you understand it? Yep. Okay, let's do a few more. What if x is not greater than or equal to 6, then what is x? x is less than 6. The opposite of greater than is less than. The opposite of equal to is not, not equal so to. Is plus than so it is that. So they're going to give you this and they're going to tell you to graph them. Okay? So for example, let's do one of the graphing ones. It says draw a number line and graph the solution. x is not less than 2, okay? So if we were to graph that, if x is less, um, is not less than 2, then that means x is or greater, two. greater or than or equal to and equal, or equal to, yeah, 2. So then now we graph, graph greater than or equal to 2. So here's my 2, and I'm supposed to graph greater than and then equal to 2. See that? Okay, so you know how to do these parts. I've taught you that. So you just have to convert that part. Okay, let's do a few more. Next one. Write both an inequality and a negated inequality that describes this graph. So they're basically wanting you to write both of them. Okay, so here's the graph. this on the graph. Okay, so let's take the first step and tell me what is showing. X is less than 3. X is less than, remember left goes, to the left means it's less than. Okay, so X is less than 3. So everything 3 and less than 3 is showing. But is it equal to? No. Okay, now let's write it's ingated or negated inequalities, the opposite, basically. X is greater than or equal to 3. Very good. So, the opposite of less than is greater than, and since it did not have an equal sign, we put an equal sign. Got it? So, those are our two answers to show that. Okay? All right, let's see if we got it right. Yes, we did. Okay, and then now the last part of this lesson, there were three parts. Um, and now it's advanced ratio problems. Now, 
the book is going to teach it in a way that it's it's easier just to do it the way I'm going to teach you. So, I want you to learn when you hear the ratio of red marbles to blue marbles is 5 to 7. And then it says if there are 156 marbles in the bag, that kind of um, tells that there's a total, how many marbles are red? When you hear that, I want you to make yourself a ratio box. Okay? I call it the ratio box. All right? Okay, and what you're going to put right here is ratio, okay, and then um, over here is going to be total or actual count, actually. Actual count, and I just put AC for actual count, okay? And then over here you've got red marbles, blue marbles, and total marbles. Remember this? Yeah. Okay, they're actually teaching it in a different way now, and there's really no reason, no reason to change something that's already working, okay? So... Here we go. Here's what it says. The ratio of red marbles to blue marbles is 5 to 7. Ratio, 5 to 7. Red to blue. Then it says, if there are 156 marbles in the bag, actual count, or total marbles, 156. Yeah. So, why did I put 156 here? Because that's the ratio side. The actual count side goes here. And there are a total of 156. So then, can we figure out what the total of ratio is? Yes. What? 12. 12. So 7 plus 5 is 12. So we can figure out that total, okay? Um, and that's all the information they give us. Now, the question is, though, if there are 156 marbles in the bag, how many marbles are red? So which one are they wanting us to figure out? The red one. The top one. Red. Actual count. How many marbles are there? So I'm going to put an R actually for that spot because we want to know how many are red. Okay, now hopefully you remember this. You take the information you know everything about, Divide. take the information you know, least or at least ask the questions, but you at least know some about, but this is where the question asks. It didn't ask us to find out how many blue, otherwise I would circle that one. Okay, and now you're going to take the two that you do, this one and this one, and you're going to put them on top of each other. 5 over 12 equals R over 156. And then it becomes this kind of problem. And you've worked those before, and so I'll actually work this one, but in the future I will not. We'll just leave it as that. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. 5 over 12 equals R over 156. So, remember you cross multiply. So 12 times R equals 156 times 5, which is, um, it doesn't tell the answer, <laughs> of course, okay, so let's do it real quick, 780, so 5 times 156 is 780, and then 12 times what equals 780, so remember we want to put the R on this side, so times 12 moves across the equals, and when it does that, it becomes the opposite. Instead of being times 12, it becomes divided by 12. And then 780 divided by 12 is 65. So R equals 65. Okay? So how many red marbles are there? 65. Okay? Well, like you got it? Let's do one more. And I'm not going to work the rest of the problem. We're just going to come up with the ratio. Okay? Okay? Draw your ratio box. Ratio. Actual count. All right, now let's see what we're doing. The ratio of fish to crabs in the sea cave was 13 to 4. Fish to crabs, 13 to 4. If there are 119 fish and crabs in the sea cave, 119 total, I'm going to put total right there, 119 total fish, fish and crabs in the sea cave, how many are fish? They want to know the actual count of fish. Okay, now, I'm going to go draw my lines. <coughs> Can I determine this? Yes. All right, what is it? Okay. Very good. Okay, so now you take one that you know everything about and one that you want to, or has the question about. How many fish are there actually in the tank or in the sea cave or whatever? Okay, and then you just take your information and put 13 over 17 equals f over 19, uh, 119, okay? And then it becomes
comes um, a cross-multiplying problem and you work it like normal. Okay? That is lesson 39.